Hello everyone and welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll be adding CSS and animations to our Power Apps React component. Let's dive into the code and let's make changes. So the first file that I'm going to look at is the control manifest file. In the control manifest file, we have got, we can configure CSS. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut it and put it in a section which is not commented. Right? Immediately when I put it, I get an error saying that this was not found. Good, because it's not found because it's not there. Let's create a folder. I'll say CSS. And in the CSS folder, I'm going to create a React counter.css. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to go ahead and explain the CSS. I'm just going to place it out here. Okay, this is a lot of CSS. It gives a good look and feel. For example, each button will have its own color and then there are few animation properties out here which is used to flip right, flip right, left, and also rotate 180 degrees. Okay, so this is what the animation counters would be like. So I'm going to go into the counter.tsx and I'm going to update the code. So firstly, we need to add the animations. So I'm going to use the interface so that I can add animations to it. And I'm going to do it on the counter state, right? I want to add animations when the counter increments. As soon as I do that, I will get an error. That's fine for now. Next, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and configure my class. So in the counter class, I have got the I counter props and the I counter state that is good and then I will go ahead and clear the timeouts for the animation. So I'm going to use a timeout here and I'll say that return type will be set timeout. Next step would be to configure the animations within the state as of now there is just the initial prop I need to say the animation initially is false. The animation class that I have defined up here, initially it's empty. The error goes away and that looks a bit good. Next, what I want to do is, I want to say what happens when the component did update. And I also want to set the animation state. I want to set up the animation state such that the animation class comes into picture. Next, I want to go ahead and have the increment out here, which looks good, but there are no animations to it. So I'm going to change that as well. So the increment would be changed such that we have the animation set state as of now and we are going to use the flip right. Similarly, for decrement, we will use flip left if that helps. And then on reset, we will say just go ahead and flip 180 degrees. To we need to get rid of the reset out here. It's double. So let me get rid of it. So get rid of this. So in the render method as well, we need to go ahead and apply a bit of CSS. I'm going to apply CSS to the state itself. And let me just change this button. So it's too much like increment and decrement. Let's say plus, minus, and let's say R for reset. And this looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say npm run build and start watch. Let's see what comes out of it. And here if you see, we didn't get it exactly right, but we have the animations working plus, minus and reset. Okay. It's not as expected. So we need to go ahead and look at the problem. And if you look at the problem, there is no animations applied to the button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also apply animations to the button. 
So on click is this dot increment, right? And similarly, we have decrement and reset. So let's make a div element and let's apply the buttons, the CSS as well. So let's do this. Let's try to do this. Let's try to save it. Let's go back. And here, my friends, you see that we have the plus, we have the minus, we have the R. If we set an initial value, the initial value also gets updated now dynamically. And I think that's pretty much it. Our counter is actually ready to be deployed. And let's go ahead and deploy it in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye-bye.